Alright guys, so today I picked up a nice uh, pressure pot over at Harbor Freight and we're going to convert it to use it for resin so our castings aren't all bubbly and I'm going to show you how to do this with the few parts that you need but first I'm going to get this all unboxed so let's get right Now I got it all on box and let's see what's inside. Nice. Right. Instruction manual. So for right now, for the conversion, we don't need the actual tank itself. So I'm going to put everything aside that I don't need. And I'm going to show you what you do need. So I was watching this from over at uh, Jake Thompson. He did a cool conversion on his channel. And uh, I figured I'd try it out. So here are the few things that you're going to need. So you're going to want a brass reducer set, quarter inch pipe cap, quarter inch elbow, quarter inch ball valve, and a quarter inch quick connect. Um, these three you can actually buy at Harbor Freight. I'll leave those in the description. And these two you can just buy over at Lowe's. So I'm going to leave those in the description as well. So. Now that you know what you need for that, you're also going to want um, some Teflon tape to uh, put all this together or else the steel will go bad. So first, we're going to uh, get this off. So So now we got that loose and taken off, we're gonna use the one with the three quarter inch outer threads and the quarter inch inner threads. Before we put it in there, um, I got some Teflon tape here already uh, cut. And one thing you wanna do with that is you just wanna go clockwise with it. So now we got this all screwed in there, I'm going to take out this pop-out valve and we're going to put that right in here. Okay, now we got the pressure gauge put on. Now you're gonna need your elbow you bought. We're going to Teflon tape this and we're gonna put this right on here. And then we're going to tape this and put that right there. So that way uh, you have a nice release right there for uh, your pressure.
All right, so now the last thing to do is cap the end of this right here, and then you're all set to go, and you're ready to start using your pot. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna test all of these little um, fittings here to make sure there's no air leaking out. So what I suggest you do is fill it up to about 50 PSI, um, wherever that may be, about right there, which is halfway, since most of these are rated for like around 60 or 70 PSI, you're going to want to do 50 um, or under. So yeah, you're going to want to spray a little bit of water on all of these. Um, and if there are any bubbles, that means you got a leak and you got to retape it or just tighten it. If you got no leaks, you're all set to go. everybody it's the next day I'm just gonna tighten everything up real quick before I test all of these fittings and uh, fill it up with pressure here all right so it feels like everything's all tightened up here now I'm going to fill this up with air and I have a little bit of uh, soapy water mix here we're going to pour it on all of these little fittings here to make sure there isn't any air coming out yep and that's where we got a leak here. So I'm gonna get right in close here. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It's right there where the um, release valve is. So you can see how it's bubbling all up there. That means this is loose. So I'm going to tighten it and we're gonna keep working on this. Okay, so I was trying to fill this up and I was having a little bit of a problem keeping um, pressure on it, keeping a good seal. And from what I was reading online, putting a little bit of um, Vaseline on it around the seal should help keep its pressure. So I'm going to try that. All right. So I did do the Vaseline trick. I put a little bit of Vaseline around the seal and the rim of the pot. And that seems to be working. I had it filled up to 40 PSI. Now it looks like we have a small leak because it's gone down um, about one pound. So... It's either the pot or one of my fittings. So now we are going to put a little bit of soap water mix on there and we're going to uh, see if any of these bubble up. And if they do, that means we got a leak. And if not, then it's probably just the rim of the pot. Okay, so I made a little insert for this. I cut it out on my bandsaw. I drew a little circle and cut it out on my bandsaw. And I got a couple pieces of wires cut, so that way you can uh, grab it and retrieve it. And that way you can uh, put your resin projects in there nice and easy. So yeah, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix up some resin and we're gonna pour a couple of pen blanks. Um, I think I'm going to do them like probably a glow in the dark color and we're going to do one with the pressure pot and one without the pressure pot to see the difference. So let's get to that. Now this is going to be the one going in the pressure pot. Wow, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So yeah, that's the purpose of a pressure pot is to uh, get all the bubbles out of stuff, out of your resin, so it's not all uh, cloudy and weird like that, you know? So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on next week's video.